Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada events element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. The Avada events element is a helper element that works in conjunction with the events calendar plugin. Once you have the plugin installed, you will find the events element in your list of elements in Avada Builder. Once you have created your events through the event calendar plugin, you can use this element to add them to any part of your site you like. For more control over how your events display, consider using Avada Postcards to design a layout for your event, and then you can use the Postcards element to display them on the page. You can see this approach on the campaign pre-built, but for a simple presentation of your events, the events element is great. I've imported the Avada Church pre-built, and I'm going to add the element to the community page here. I've made a container further down the page, and it's ready to insert the events element. Yeah, that looks great, even with the default settings. There are a few options as you can see in the sidebar here, so let's have a look at them. The first option is the categories. With this option you can select a range of categories to display, or you can just leave this blank to display all categories. The next option is condense events in series. If you have series of events, setting this to yes will just show the next event in each series. This option is only valid for pro users of the events calendar. The next option gives you the ability to display past events, but in most situations you're probably going to leave this on no, but it could definitely be useful on an event archive page. Following this is the order option. This allows you to choose whether your events are displayed in ascending or descending order. The next two options help with the layout. You can choose the number of events to display overall, and under this you can choose the maximum number of columns. So if we choose six events, and three columns, we will end up with two rows and slightly larger events. Column spacing is the next option, and here the default is set to minus one, which gives the default spacing of 4%. If you want to change this, you can enter a pixel value in the field, or just use the slider to adjust it. I might just set this to 20. The picture size option is next, and this allows you to choose from cover or auto. As the description says, cover means the image will scale to fit in the container, and auto means the width and height of the container will adjust to the image. The next option, content padding, allows you to adjust padding in the event content area under the image. There is 20 pixels default padding all around, and I think that looks good. Content alignment is the next option, and here you can choose from the usual values of text flow, left, center, and right. With the next option, Text Display, you can choose how much of the event content you show here. The default is set to no text, so we just see the title and the date. But we also have options to show an excerpt, or the full content. This is very similar to the blog element. If you choose Excerpt, an option for the excerpt length appears, and another one to strip the HTML from the excerpt, which by default is set to Yes. For this page, I'm going to change it back to the default, which is no text. If you are displaying a large number of events, there is an option below this for pagination type. This offers all the usual pagination options from pagination, infinite scrolling, or a load more button. I have no need for pagination here. The final options are the usual element visibility option, which allows you to choose whether to display the element on various screen sizes, and the CSS class and CSS ID fields, which can be used for further CSS customization. This great little element adds some excellent functionality and versatility to your site if you are already using the Events Calendar plugin. Ok, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.